Tickets online for a concert or a sporting event, you probably got a nasty surprise user fee at the checkout. With all these events and shows to take in through the holiday season, WUSA 9's Sarah Consmo pulls back the curtain on why those fees are so high and how you can get the most for your money. Yes, I have. We've actually decided not to go sometimes because of the user fees. Planning on hitting up a holiday tradition? Expect an expensive surprise if you book those tickets online. That's because just two companies keep a stranglehold on online ticket sales. There's nowhere else to go but to that one source, whether it be Ticketmaster, Live Nation, or someone else. Even Live Nation CEO Michael Rapino, in an email disclosed in an anti-competition lawsuit last month, called some of the fees Ticketmaster charges, sometimes as high as 25 to 50 percent, undefendable. Yet government efforts to get more transparency for consumers have failed. Just last week in Canada, the Ontario government tried to force companies to reveal how many tickets they made available for sale. That law didn't pass. It's an issue in the U.S. as well. Miley Cyrus was a big show. Consumers got locked out in seconds, blamed all the brokers, and it turns out that only a fraction of those tickets were ever made available to the public. Gary Adler is a lobbyist for resale online ticket sales like StubHub, where there is competition. He says people can often find tickets on these sites for under face value. Sometimes you have to go through a little bit of a process to see the final cost. As for this DC couple, after checking Tedeschi truck tickets online, the extra fee was $30. They went with the low tech approach to the physical box office. We bought four tickets, so we saved. Uh, $120. $120. In Washington, D.C., Sarah Consmo, WUSA 9. Now, Sarah says while it might seem like a good idea to wait until the last minute to get a bargain on tickets, the experts tell her that can also backfire. So staying ahead of the game and doing your research is best.